Hey there, welcome to Dauntless, a Monster Hunter type game, and I haven't played Monster Hunter before. Uh, I think there's supposed to be a mandatory tutorial type thing, so we're gonna get that out of the way, and then I'll be joining Bird and Wander here in the early access beta thing. I was given access to it, so I figured let's spend some time with it. Hello, fellow Slayers. I'm Jesse Houston executive producer on Dauntless and co-founder here at Phoenix Labs. We're approaching alpha and beta a little differently than you may be accustomed to. And you're playing a game that's huh. still- Well, this is different, but if you want to check out this video, you can go ahead and track it down yourself. This is just kind of lagging on. It's kind of just dragging on for a while. And I'm like, this is not what I was hoping for. Ooh, let's customize our character. Hello. Cornelia. Basilius. James. Oh, you picked two and set. We're doing the GTA 5 situation. You pick like a mother and a father or something, and or two mothers? Are they both mothers? I guess they're both just ancestors as opposed to being actually maybe necessarily the coupling that creates the character. Interesting. Gives you a few options, I suppose. Is there more to the character you can do than this, I wonder? Raises some questions. I mean, they're... They're very similar looking, I'll say. It really just leads to slight differences in a mostly already predetermined body appearance. Okay, let's do body shape. Oh. This is a slider between which character I'm more heavily based on in the more, like... Yeah, and the and uh, yeah, right. It's actually it's exactly how uh, Grand Theft Auto Five handles character creation: is you pick two ancestors and then you just have a slider between the two that determines which one you look more like. Change body type. Show body. Is the change body type that I'm turning into a, a woman? Is that the implication? I think that's the implication. Huh. That's how androgynous the face is, is that you can change body type, and that's the gender swap right there. Huh. Okay. Can I customize the character at all? Is the question? Zelma Silver Fox? There we go. Here's what you're hoping for. I want uh, any hair besides that. Tetsuo? Oh no, okay. It does do it? Yeah, okay, controller works, that's probably better. It'll probably be a little more helpful. There's Tetsuo. Undercut. Side, the side sort of punk thing, the crew cut. Oops, hair color. Yeah, let's change it to like something more brown. Um, how do I pick a hair? Oh, okay, so the this is where the controller stops working. Actually, you kind of have to like select the hair color, then hit accept, which you can't do with the joystick. Interestingly, okay, so. Implementation of controller versus, uh, versus keyboard and mouse here is slightly inconsistent, but we, you can make do pretty easily. One idea would just be to not look identical to the other two characters in my party, but I don't know what they're going to look like right off the bat. Could just go with ponytail. We'll start with that. Oops. Go back to customizing the character. Okay, so skin is not an option. Eyes. Make them a little. Oh god, that's. It's gonna get really weird really fast if I mess with the sliders. Their facial hair. Extras are locked. Nose is where it is. I think I'll stick with my face, but is there more. Is there no facial hair? Am I crazy? It seems like there's no facial hair. All these are f are normal hair, but the icon shows facial hair. Maybe that's not implemented yet. This is early access. I kind of view this as a temporary character, so I'm not super concerned about what they look like. Kind of want his his cheeks to look to like stick out more, though. The uh, the gauntness is severe. The mouth. Those are just mouth. Head. Squish versus stretch. Rounds versus square. There we go. 
That gets a little closer to, like, not being totally freakishly gaunt. There we go. That looks different from what I, what from the default at least, because I was afraid that every character would look completely identical. Was basically the concern. Can I make the eyebrows look different? Eyebrows. They have a slider. I can reduce them at least, as opposed to this the giant credit card eyebrows you start off with. All right, I'll take this character. He at least looks different than I think the other ones more or less mostly did. Let's go straight black with the hair. I think. Even though that might have been where we started. I kind of like that. Do my eyebrows change color? They don't. Interesting. Yeah, I'll go pure black. Go back to the eyebrows real quick. Do they change color? Oh, eye, eye color is here. You can change your colors of your eyes individually, apparently. If you wanted to. Oh god, there's some weird stuff happening right now in this interface. Okay, inner and outer iris. So you can go like blue and green for some sort of gradient there. Interesting. Stands out more if I have more of a light versus dark. Okay. Let's continue forward. I'm slightly worried about my character creator losing its losing its mind. Let's try out this mandatory tutorial, and then I'll regroup with the uh, Wandering Bird. And I hopefully I haven't spent too much time doing this uh, to lose track of uh, them. So I'm using a controller, but it's showing me control. It shows shows me controls for this. Is there a button I can press to switch it to controller? This seems like a genre that benefits from controller support. But yeah, I don't I don't see a way to toggle which one's showing me on the loading screen. Welcome to the Shattered Isles. Hello, Slayer. Our world is under attack by ferocious beasts known as behemoths. You play an aspiring Slayer tasked with protecting humanity against the behemoth threat. As part of your training, you will now face the behemoth known as Nasher. Slay the beast and report your progress back to the city at, Ra at Ramsgate. Either mouse or keyboard or game control. Yes. Tab on your keyboard or options to view the controls. Okay. So, ah, hello. Side of the screen. We have a we have a four hit X combo. We have a one two three pause Y Y Y. Nope. One two three. No. One two three. I don't know how to do the X X X Y Y. Or was that it? Maybe. Y Y. And then a bunch of X's. Yep. That was a back and forth. You have a few combo variations to go through. X is physical, Y is elemental, apparently. Elemental Blast uses one stock of special meter uh, to unleash Elemental Blast. That might be the squares up there. You can use it to finish combos. Overdrive, RB, special. Requires a special meter stock. So I have two things mapped to RB, apparently. Interesting. Right trigger is Sprint, which uses my stamina up, which recovers how fast? Eventually. Okay, that's reasonable. Dodge is B. That uses a lot. That uses way faster than the sprint. We have a jump. Okay, sheath and unsheath is there if you want it. You probably move fast while sheathed. That makes sense. And now, me being a monster that I am, I need to do this real quick. Click. There we go. Now that I've revealed myself to the world, controls make sense again. It looks like the D pad must be items. Yeah, so just tap the D-pad in that direction and you'll press that direction. Apparently slot 5 is an airdrop if you hold down the down direction. That's probably the guy I have to fight, right? Sprint is right trigger, gotta remember that. Alright. Oh! When my weapon is sheathed, it doesn't require stamina to sprint. It only requires stamina to sprint when your weapon's out. That's interesting. I just, I just, I just hit a... Whoa, that was weird. Okay. 
Lantern ability is L2. That's what I pressed on accident. I was curious what was happening there. Is there a lock on? Movement. Camera. Nope, probably not. Get that weapon out. Hey, buddy. You're probably nice, right? No? No? Seems not psyched about this whole thing. Oh. Gotta get used to how to, how to actually land blows, apparently. Man. The little recovery really does get some right out of, out of range. Ow. Beaver clap got me. That's how I can recover, is I can roll into his attack, or roll back towards him. But that doesn't mean I have to worry about the stamina consumption at that point. Oh, took a hit. He seems like a tutorial monster, so he's probably very unthreatening compared to later ones. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. The rapid combo I learned. That little roll seems so nonchalant, but it's just enough to make him go massively out of my range in that moment. Damn is in trouble now. You're surprisingly durable. I have no idea how much health you have. Oh, hi. How are you gonna feel if I take that tail off? Out of range, and I screwed myself up there. So this doesn't require any stamina, this combo. But that other combo I do does. Yeah, this requires combo this requires stamina right here. Whereas whereas normal attacks don't. Even Y attacks don't require stamina. Interesting. I guess that's their way of limiting how much you can spam that. What do you do? You was it a heal? Ow. Think I beat him? He's got loot. Chop more pieces off. Nasher slain. Island cleared. Only took me like six minutes of embarrassing flailing around like a clueless idiot. I think I might be able to play with Wandering Bird now. We'll see if it drops me into a place that has other people. Damage dealer, that's my role in the party, as the only member of the party. Oh uh, yeah. A rank compared to something. Rate your match. I'm gonna give that a five out of five. Or I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Or I'm gonna give it many numbers out of somethings. Am I matching other am I rating other people or the match itself? Three. Give it a three, because I have nothing to compare it to. We got an aether core. I don't know what that is yet. Cool. My my lo my text. Yeah, my name wasn't matching up with the title card, huh? Danger zero percent. I, that must be referring to how many enemies there are left. First criticism I have is the f the uh, the text could use some filtering and some shadows or something because some of the text is just like white on on brightness. I'm noticing that there's a lot of just floating text with nothing that is like around the text to outline it or shadow it to make it easier to read. This looks it looks strange and flat at times. Like it works here when it's just dauntless on the logo, but when it's floating around in the 3D world, you have to want to put something on it to help uh it be readable. Meet the Bosun. This is Ramsgate, the tip of the spear in the battle against the behemoths. Here you will meet other players, prepare for hunts, and explore a variety of quests and stories. Begin your first quest by speaking with to Bosun Marker Boer. Look for a character with a question mark over his head. He will be waiting for the, you at Ramsgate. You see a character? Yeah, that's the normal quest stuff. And here I am. Yeah, I'm in a public place with other people. All right, let's see if I can find the other my friends now. Do you in, have a weapon? Interface preference? is interesting. I don't know them. Yeah. Okay, there's hammer, there's chain blades, there's sword, and there's axe. Hammer and axe are the slowest. The axe, axe is the slowest. The chain blades you can kind of whip around at long range. Uh, the sword's pretty quick. 
Is anyone using Chainblade yet? Nope. Hey there, Rook. I'll probably go with that. Immediately okay. in this fight, I was like, wow, my range is, uh... <laughs> Limited. Yeah. Alrighty, like guys. Like, I would do I've, a flip uh... and I'd swing it at him and he'd rolled back. I'm like, oh, great. I'm comboing okay. air. I uh, can choose to hunt either Rogue Nash or Rogue Shrike, so I think I'm ready to, uh... Play yeah, I just gotta... at this point. I assume it's Birdcatcher? Oh, yeah, looking at this uh, early I dialogue, I'm, just, I'm like, I don't think we're... this bird. Wait, really? I think so. Open. Yep, I Did got invited. You... You were just bird. Wow. Yep. Bird. Looking at, last looking man at this G early dialogue, I'm like, maybe we won't have to read any yeah. of this. Um. It's like, go get the bad guy. Go talk to someone. Yeah. No. The the quest dialogue is garbage. I was reading it out loud, and at this point, like, I've given up because it's just like, congrats, you de defeated uh, the thing. Now go talk uh, to this person. I'm like, uh, fuck. Uh, early access. Early access. <laughs> no, there's. Oh my god. <laughs> there's, there's a pretty decided uh, reason why I was like, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get to the multi to the part where I know it's multiplayer. I'm gonna do it off stream because I've done enough streams with you guys where we don't do that preparation work. This and it kills I've me. I've got a fun example of early access. Oh, Wander invited me to the party, and then it took all controls for me and my character as the controller user. And I just started yep. running, and I was running in a straight line towards a wall. Yep. And I couldn't figure oh. out why. <laughs> there touched, are multi. Then I touched my mouse, and once I, I moved my mouse, it started popping up the actual... It started flickering the invite screen rapidly as I was running to the wall. Wanna, <laughs> you're going to want to sit so you can have keyboard and mouse handy, because you actually can't loot stuff uh, after missions. Oh yeah, you can't even the... pick your like like hair and skin colors without it with a controller. Because you can only yeah, use the joystick the, to move oh, around yeah, on the screen. You can use the keyboard and mouse for the customization. You, you yep. can use the controller for all of the customization until you get to that grid mm -hmm. with the colors on it. When you're on the grid with the colors yeah. on it, there's no way to get off of the grid without physically scrolling off of it. So can we, can so we you quickly could, talk about that customization, though? Because I made a yeah. female character and... But like, Boy, did I try. If you, if you scroll... Boy, did I try. If you scroll to the edges of that color grid... Like, uh, like you know how, like, on a... On, on on your on your control on your uh, mouse, you clicked on the color you wanted, then you clicked on accept. Mm -hmm. For me, as a controller user at the time, uh, you scroll around on that thing. But if you but the only way to get off it is to physically scroll off of the color thing, which means you can only pick colors that are on the edges of the square. <laughs> huh. In order to go hit accept, That's you have hilarious. to scroll off the square somewhere because it's is it there's, there's no to hit have a. Some just god awful performance in this hub. Green yes. Flag. Yeah, the hub is the hub is atrocious. Let's the hub is let's do a, uh, This is the earliest uh, of access. <laughs> have you guys have you guys picked up your uh your quest by the way cuz uh, we need to make sure my that quests you pick are all kill a strike or kill a nasher. That's it. Okay. Uh a normal strike or a rogue strike cuz that matters. Uh I believe it's a rogue strike. Let let's me look. See. Uh hunt a rogue nasher or hunt a rogue strike. Can you okay. pick a weapon yet? Yeah, if you go into your inventory uh, which is L on the keyboard. Good luck on controller. Uh, you can switch weapons. You should actually have one of every every weapon. Yeah, we to apparently start have with. borrowed weapons by default. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what borrowed means. I assume it means it goes away after early no, access. No, no, you have it forever. I think it's it just, just means garbage. it's our garbage starting items. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. You're gonna want to replace it. There's a weapon uh, crafting guy that it, gives so. you a quest requiring you to upgrade one of your items. Oh uh, yeah, fair point. Whatever. I upgraded okay. my sword. I don't really care for right now. I'll decide on that sort of stuff after a mission or two. Okay. Uh, so, uh, one thing I will note is we are joined by one of my fans because this game kind of scales poorly. So the less people you have, the harder it gets. So how like, how overpowered are you guys right now as people that have already uh, played significantly? Not overwhelmingly. I, I told him to equip some like lower tier gear. Um, as we are literally feel... starting characters. Uh, except for the Rogue Nasher, you're never gonna feel invalidated by somebody with better equipment than you. It'll just make the fights go faster. Okay, like, say so. I, I can't just roll in and one-shot anything. Uh... But, like, the Rogue Nasher definitely goes faster if you've got better Whoa, equipment. that's some early access. I can no longer move. That's because we're actually traveling, yep. and it, it doesn't have a loading screen for this. Mm -hmm. uh, jump. You, next time that happens, jump, because your characters start doing some weird shit. Okay, good to know. I was in the middle of a quest dialogue, so we'll see if that breaks anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried to customize my character to at least look somewhat human. And, uh, they boy use the, howdy, everyone just loaded in naked. They used the GTA 5 wow, character creator. Wow, you look wow. like a man. Bird looks I know. like me woman. You can't make you can't make female yeah, characters. You guys are twinsies. Hello, woman. Like, you're me. creepy twinsies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Do we want to 
shall we hold hands and like oh. sing like songs or something? Hang on, let me let me start recording this. I think we last we, we lost last man. There's oh, the range. What the hell is this? What the hell is airship fuel? Oh, uh, every mission is times. You have oh, thirty okay. minutes to fight the behemoth. Yep. Which is, like, you think that's a lot of time, it's not. There are some okay. monsters that take the whole time yeah. period. So for people who are just tuning in, which is everybody, because this is the first episode of my series here, Keith and I, I mean, look like see. really creepy twins. So we're going to do this thing for the entire series where we both say the same sentences at the oh. same time. Good combo. Yeah, you found, okay. you found that combo? So that combo actually doesn't do as much damage as you think. It's for building up uh, oh, power I just used up my power. Stuff. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> Cool. Alrighty, so on a scale of one to Dark Souls, how is the how is the difficulty of actually fighting things that matter? I can't lock on and it feels weird. <laughs> I know there, you can't lock on, it's weird. I don't like it. There, uh, you get used to it, it's not so bad. What the hell are these? Are these um, corgis? I mean, they're, they're like goats, you can murder them for uh, their oh, for their Corgis? Fur. They look like corgis from a distance. Tell me it doesn't look I like mean, a damn corgi. Well, now it's dead. <laughs> yeah, that looks more up. like a corgi. Are all um, corgis inherently dead to you? No, I was laying okay, down. Okay, don't go that way. It's a oh. dead end. You can't. You can climb terrain in this game, but it doesn't work so great. Uh, if you've pulled out your weapons, oh, you guys figured out how to sheath them. It's at X to put away your weapon bird. Uh, when yeah, you have your, your weapon out, you run slower. Yeah, because you run slower when you have oh, it out. Not even Iron. slower. It uses your stamina. Also oh yeah, yeah, you have infinite stamina um, for running if you're if it's sheathed. Yes, but yeah, in, that is correct. In reference to your question. Uh, this game kind of goes from like, you know, gi uh, that was what's his name, the giant, there we in go. uh, in Dark Souls two, the the first boss. I, to, also, I also mind by crouching uh, at it. Um, <laughs> to somewhere closer Go to uh, Gorgie, Gorgie, Gorgie. Gorgie. <laughs> uh, some of the fights definitely do get, like, ridiculously hard. I have had fights that, like, went down to 30 seconds and we were, like, panicking. Uh, so... That's pretty funny. It is... Where I, is this the timer, is though? I, uh, it, it goes went away, away until now. it matters again. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this, we just collect a bunch of Aether Fluxes. What do those do? Uh, it's um, mostly a just a really used... bad Femme Fatale movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was Aeon Flux, you doofus. Most of these are definitely going to be one of those where, uh, where we just run out and grab stuff, and eventually you'll realize you're, you have nothing, Is and loot you need more of something specific. I'm noticing we're all able to loot the same thing. Is loot instance yeah. then? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's instance. All, oh, yeah. All loot oh, yeah, the goat you killed there's the no competition. Loot. Yep. Uh, let's see. So, obviously... Oh, there it is. That's a, yep. that's a strike, yeah. Yep. Well, let's get uh, the kick and it's ease. So if we uh, if we split up, you press four, and that lets everybody else know where you are. Uh, and there will be like a marker on the. There compass. you go. You now know where I am. Uh huh. Uh. Happy fourth. Right. Oh, Good the luck, flag guys. on the on the on the compass. Okay. I'll let you guys fight for a little while before I like roll okay. in, just so, you know. And so it's at I least a little bit like authentic of an experience. <laughs> yeah. His tail is shrimp. Once we, uh, I, I'm saying that not because I uh, had sushi today. But, but, but uh, also totally because delicious. that it, it is. <laughs> uh, so a couple of notes: you can cut his tail. Hit off. the tail. Yep. Yeah. It's 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 super a video satisfying. game boss. Of course he hit it in the tail. I had a hammer I mean, for a while and I couldn't cut the tail off anymore. And it made me sad. Aw, that's like a yeah. fun little sub goal. Yeah. Well, the, God, the hammer's tail looks delicious. We off. have to cut that off and eat it. <laughs> I wish this game actually had, like, a substitute cooking element to it, like, how cool it would be if we're also, like, just going yep. out to just pick up, like, Nasher, Nasher flanks for steak. <laughs> Whoa! How, like what a, are the Nashers? Are those, like, like little dash? enemies at some point? Uh, well, that's a Nasher you're fighting right now. Oh. Oh, I'm supposed to be killing a Shrike, though. Uh, you have a quest for both. We're starting easy going. Oh, we'll pit the pies. Okay. I, re I thought, like, this thing didn't look like a Shrike. It looked like that looks really cool. He's also gonna smack you. Yeah, we'll we'll fight we'll fight the Shrike in a bit. The Shrike actually uh Ow. he is oh, Is that the thing that looks like a Stegosaurus chicken that you fought that one time? No. Well it looks oh, like that's an this owl thing, bear. actually. So sometimes my dodge is a is a dash instead of a roll. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you've so... got the if you've got the chain blade, you have a, a like dash. Ow. It's like so that... much easier to hit him with the with the big attack. <laughs> the uh, the rapid oh ones. yeah, with that weapon. Um, 
I haven't I, I haven't messed with the combos yet on the sword, but it's like they are you so just satisfying. Okay, bird, break it bird? more. Yeah, bird, do a right two right clicks and then mash left click. If you do it right, you will just start swinging. Yeah, there you go. What the hell? This is that yep. is a little bit actually incredibly stupid looking. <laughs> yeah. It's like, why won't you die, 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 they, die, die? They show you your controls, what, on tab for keyboard to mouse? Yeah. It's the first thing they tell you when you launch in. Oh, there's a there there's we go. tail. There we go, we got the, uh, got it. we got the taco, or not the taco, the sashimi. <laughs> we got the, we got the food. Sashimi beaver. <laughs> oh, I got hit for the first time. <laughs> wow, the range of this. <laughs> yeah. So the one thing is the right click uh, uses up your stamina, whereas your regular attacks don't. So sometimes it gets a little risky. I think well, the right click it. also just does not do as much damage. So there's also kind of that. Take seems, that wild. It life, seems to somewhat depend on whether it. or not you're uh, depend on whether or not you're planning on rolling anytime soon. Because it seems like you can infinitely use stamina consuming attacks. Yes. You Which just can't. Roll. What? Surprise. What? You're the damage dealer. Yeah, I am. Wow. Oh. Though the damage I dealt. Boom. Oh, okay. <laughs> but but we're all gold bastion, so that's cool, I guess. I don't know what words I didn't get a, I don't know what uh, any words mean. I'm giving you guys metal, a one out of five, by did? the way. What the hell does that mean? You guys get a one uh, out of five. Oh. Uh, I don't even know if these ratings actually matter. I was going to say, I bet <laughs> this just, um... I can't even this, click on it. I honestly can't even click on it. Menu. Wait, you can only click Wait. on five. Only five works. No, you can click on any of them. Yeah, it's I click like, on four. Oh. Yeah. The it rating from, doesn't actually go through until the round ends. No, it goes from red to blue, and the red ones are really hard to see. So it looks like you're uh, not clicking right. on it, whereas blue is where five is really bright and blue and vibrant, so it looks like you're it's working. I had to look for the like the faint after image. My best part of or my favorite part about playing this game is uh during these little loading screens, I get to keep my cursor on the screen and I get to feel like an elementary school teacher. <laughs> like now we're gonna watch a video. And I wanted I'm to watch over this the, thing, so I'm going to click on it. Mouse cursor. Yeah, so this is where you get your uh, this is where you get your monster parts at the end. Um, so every hunt you'll get usually an aether core and maybe a style core. I think you stop getting style cores after a while. Those uh, a style core. Uh, style cores are for like dyes and banner parts. As far as I can tell, oh. like uh, it's it's kind of one of those um, random things. Where it like doesn't necessarily give every like there's dies, but I don't think you can unlock new ones yet. So I think right now it's like partially broken. Well, okay. If you say so. All right, no cores. I'm ready to just uh, launch into the next quest. All right, let's, have a decent let's number of loot the, items. Give the Shrike a go. Uh, so wait, the jump? Shrike. Oh, yeah, you have to jump. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's great if you're going downstairs and you jump just at the right time. Uh, I really early on in this, I found uh, they hadn't like fixed it yet, so I just started going upwards forever, and I've been trying to like recreate Every that. Every time I load in, my character is naked. Yep. Yeah. Everyone was naked. That's this just time. how it goes. Is that? That's just Give how it me goes. Your huh? clothes. Well, next time I'm gonna perf on my own character and see if they got like a Barbie thing going on or like what. You notice that the way they ha they handled gender was swap body type. Yeah, yeah, I thought I was that was like, that's um, weird language. That was like the well, this is definitely not uh, uh, considering the amount of OUs that are in this game. I'm suspecting that this probably wasn't like written primarily by Eng e uh, English speakers. Yeah. <laughs> Under your stamina bar, do you guys just have like a solid red, dark red chunk of wall? It's just like a uh, weird. You're supposed to put use items in there, I believe. I don't really know. I just have like a, I just have like a long horizontal rectangle that's just brownish red, and then under uh, that there's that's four really red unusual squares. Because mine looks fine. I think it moves like a your... corgi. I think that's your power meter for your chain blades. Uh, different weapons have different uh Ow! meters. What the huh. hell? Oh yeah, they will headbutt you. It doesn't actually it do hurt. damage. It doesn't do any damage. It's just rude. Oh yeah. Uh, what so are the limitations seeing as, are? Seeing as you're the guy using the uh, chain blades, the uh, Shrike will fly it, fly at us. It's your job to right click. Uh, use your right click to knock him out of the air. The range attack, the longer attack. Range. 
Yeah, because technically anybody can do it, but the timing is a giant pain in the ass. Whereas for you, it's just like, boop, and he falls over, and then you get a bunch of free hits and on him. Party utility! Ah, so he's got the, he's the anti-aircraft gun. Yes. Yeah, he's party. an AA gun. Okay. I am known to send people's dreams plummeting. Yeah, you tried that with me, and instead I became successful. But I'm gonna blame <laughs> you for something, because... Do you know how much spam I get now? It went up like 700%. Oh, yeah, like, for like, people going after you because you have a public email on your YouTube account? It's like, suddenly I turned on a tap, and it's just, just like... Poof. Yeah, you basically have to make your public email on YouTube a... Email that's only wow, for that, that purpose, cool. and then forward that to your normal email, but into a specific folder. So that it doesn't interfere with your normal usages. Yep. Unfortunately, I'm out for this fight. It hit me with a wind blade. Now my character's stuck in oh, permanent that's gather mode. Oh, that's funny. That is you guys are access. on your own in this. That sucks. You're broken uh, for the full fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm broken for the full fight. It, it's it permanently stun locked me into a rock. I'm gonna see if I can put a turn Hooray. on my controller. Wow, that's fascinating. This is like a owl bear. <laughs> Like some kind of owl bear. Yeah, who look at it. Who could conceptualize it's not an owl bear. such an idea? I, I can move. Sweet. <laughs> woo -hoo, woo -hoo. All right, <laughs> I am free. Who disturbs my slumber? Oh, the rogue shrike actually has like a different Whee! color palette. I think. Oh, maybe. Wee hoo! I love that attack. Yep. Four stamina meter though, so it definitely depletes yeah. it. I don't know what other owl puns are there. I mean, you got who? Yeah, so and that's Keith, about that it, was right? the one that you can you can knock them out of the air. Oh, Wait, I thought he was in the be, air. I thought yeah, I thought he was gonna be like actually in the air. Yeah, it's like now, one inch off the ground. He would well, he was going up a incline. It varies, but when he's oh, okay. when he's effectively got his wings out and he's doing anything, you can knock him out of the air. I, I've never done it because I, I've been using the hammer more, uh, more recently. Ah. Woo! They just have, like, all of these animals just have delicious looking, like, shrimp uh, sushi tails. What? Even oh, this yeah. guy. I really wish you could actually cut that's them off. What a, that's just what a oh, bird tail looks like. Off? No, you can't cut the tail off. If you notice, he's got, like, a really nasty looking gash. I mean, that's not even a tail. Yeah, it's he's just, got a they're nasty just gash. Fe they're just feathers. Yeah, but I mean, last one had a feathers. tail. This one's definitely they're just tail feathers. They're tail feathers. They're tail feathers, Keith. Therefore, what's the operative word of tail feathers? Fe feathers? No, it's tail fart. Pay attention to the, the, the things that prove my point. <laughs> Why aren't you just agreeing with everything I say? <laughs> whack, 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 whack. He's about whack. to hit you. There it goes. Oh, that's fine. That wind up. His wind up looks less like a wind up and more of like, I'm gonna get you, and he just freezes I, in place I for a while. I honestly didn't think he was winding up. I thought that he was just like looking over his shoulder at Ow. me. When he winds up his back, when, when he winds up his backhands attacks, he just kind oh. of like really weirdly like stands still. Yeah, I couldn't tell if he was winding up an attack or not, to be totally There's honest. Is, uh, they made these. Oh, he's flying up. Woo! <laughs> 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 <We're> animation. <laughs> Do we have to hunt him down now? Yeah, we gotta follow him. Oh, wait, man. oh yeah, don't these vents heal? It, yeah, those vents will heal you. You oh, can also here? press V. Oh wait, no, you guys don't have new lanterns yet. Uh, eventually you'll get healing lanterns, and you should Where's also the, uh, have a couple of potions that you can heal with. Yeah, but uh, how many of those am I gonna get in this game? I have to save save those. Yeah, uh, save them I'm forever the, uh, and never press them a single time. Where's the yeah. Where's the healing? No, the, um, the blue floor vent. vents. Yeah. Yeah, look for a crack in the ground and it has like kind of blue wispy things coming this out of it. This one's in the it. middle That's... of the field. Yeah, oh, okay, every we'll uh, every area that you fight the boss in will have uh, one of those, and it has limited uses. Uh, oh, so I, don't see. Just, I see. Don't and I just, use like, three of them. It. <laughs> there's yeah. a little there's a little fountain of youth over here. Yeah, it can be like a pants daily ants. It is a little hard to get over how much this looks like uh, uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, especially the rocks. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little hard to get over how freaking ugly my character is. Yeah. I, I really did things try. that don't look like Fortnite. <laughs> I, I like first off, okay, 
they have like that genetic system or whatever where you pick two people and you smush them together and then they make a baby and the baby's oh, you. Oh man. Um but I, no matter what combination that. I did, I just became like a hideous like chin monster. So, so you know I that guy with the mustache of the mutton chops from the like Yeah, the guy named Mutton pick? Chops. So during the uh not NDA Alpha. There's no f facial f f uh, hair options, right? Yeah, I was super disappointed nope. about that. But I found they out can't actually in the be mutton chops. in the uh, in the Alpha uh, before, like I could actually, you know, show anything off. Uh, it turns it. out you could actually um, you could actually mix mutton chop with mutton chop for extra mutton chop. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I, chop, I, I think I ended up being partially mutton chops. Uh, when I was briefly giving up and going to be a male character, because Mutton Chops is obviously the best character. Absolutely. So people who don't know, uh, Mutton Chops is a character that you can customize your character with, and Mutton Chops is just this dude who's like 99% chin, and the other 1% is Mutton Chops. Uh, for the next for the next fight, I'll take my helmet off so you can see what I what I did. I uh, just okay. tried to accentuate the chin as much as possible. Ultimately, it's the ancestor stuff is just do. a shortcut to help you skip the part where you're using, really actually surprised using all the sliders. Little... I was yeah, really the surprised. The customization there is? The customization yeah. is awful. Uh, ho hopefully, uh, they let us, like, re-customize when they actually add more options. Or know. who cares, because we wear helmets this entire game anyway. Ow. Welcome me to the fight so, just now. <laughs> I need to back up and let my stamina recharge. I am out. Why do you think it's called a Shrike? Uh, I mean, Why is it wearing a diaper? <laughs> oh, that's me. I, I gave it a little icicle diaper. <laughs> that's not little. That's a pork, big old, like, full creature. diaper full of, full of Shrike poops. Got it, I think. Yep, I think yep, that's a dead, dead Shrike. He is a dead Shrike. Quick, oh, desecrate weird. its corpse. Did his wing get really looks short like, and uh, really long again? Last Man G is having some issues, so I think we'll just uh, roll Woo! Proto in instead. Can I carve it up for more pieces? Do we really need no, a fourth? Sadly. We're doing alright. Uh, it'll get harder. We'll We're doing him. Owl right. Yeah. Owl right, owl right, owl right. <laughs> <laughs> Your helmet. Hi, you guys. Oh, somebody still you sweet, bro? You got so much chin that it clips through your helmet. <laughs> You've got so much chin that it looks like an Oblivion character. <laughs> yeah, I was trying oh. to get my I was trying to get my lips to to travel up through my nose, but it didn't work. Are your guys' names not matching their little title screens? Uh, no, what are you talking about? I'm Bird. Well, you mean it's like too too There's high like a up, hang so like down awkward. label area where yeah. the names are supposed to be, and it's oh, yeah, yeah, they're no. like in the no. line. The, the UI it's because they didn't not... they didn't actually anchor the UI properly, so it, well, it probably works in like 720p. This but then is you just the programmer it UI. They have Weird. yet to actually have anybody skin the UI in any way, shape, or form. No, probably it's, because uh, they might plan this on like the earliest of access. Then, huh? My favorite is the dialogue screens, which are just <laughs> like a, a text field pops I up. Am dialogue man, you should do <laughs> thing over there now. Is more or less the dialogue so far. And I like the I love the in place Hopefully voice acting that they have too, where it's like, "Hello, welcome to Quest. Uh, good to <laughs> see you've done your things. It is it is inspiring." Who do you think is uglier, me or the goat? <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll let, we'll let, we'll let uh, the YouTube comments decide. Slightly weird thing to talk about. Have you looked at me? Terrified children. Out of course now. There we go. Looted them all. I wasn't quite done looting them all last time. <laughs>